What up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. We are continuing our series of player profiles leading up to the season. Uh, now, before I start, please don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that share button. Tell your friends, college football fans, Kane fans, whoever that maybe haven't seen the show, let them know. Let them know we're here. Um, today, we're going to talk about Mark Fletcher. Now, I said it before, he was my favorite running back coming out of this last cycle. Um, he was committed to Ohio State, the Ohio State University, for most of the recruiting cycle, but I knew Miami was on him. So I knew, you know, we got Mario. I know there's a chance. And he uh, he just fits that, you know, his size. He's listed at like six foot and a half. That young man is every bit of 6'2". 6'2", 220 some odd pounds. Um, he, he's an absolute beast and is deceptively fast for being so big. I mean, everybody saw that video on Kane's Twitter that everybody shared that it's him talking to Clinton. Kane's legend, Clinton Portis, racked up almost 10,000 yards in the NFL, national champion with Miami. Um, the dude made Clinton Portis look like he was his little brother. It was incredible. This is the type of dude that usually you see in the SEC championship game when it's Alabama against Georgia. Those those big running backs going head to head. I mean, that's the type of guy physically that you that you would normally see out there for those two teams. That's that's who Mark Fletcher is, at least when you look at him visually. Now I know, I, I know I don't need to get you guys excited about Mark Fletcher, but you know what? I'll get you re-excited because I was just, you know, studying certain players and who I think is going to take a step forward or going to make an immediate impact out of the out of the new faces. I think in the running back room, you look no further than Mark Fletcher. While a guy like Chris Johnson, a little bit on the smaller side, it might take him a little bit to you know develop his body so he's ready to hit that field and ready to um, experience the a grueling college football season. Mark Fletcher physically, I think, may already be there. Um, again, we, we nabbed him from Ohio state university and he was one of those, uh, you know, right before, right before signing day, right before early signing day in December, we got him. And I think we, we got a dude that is, he's going to make the kind of impact that I think, um, you know, we're going to use them like as the season goes, we're going to use them more and more in red zone situations. We're going to have certain packages for him where he, you know, he's going to be a, a receiver out of the backfield. Because that's another thing I love about him. He was very well-rounded. He can block right there. He's a crystal ball guy. He can block. Um, he can uh, he can catch out of the backfield. He can run between the tackles. He can run it outside, surprisingly, for how big he is. Um there's so much to be excited about here. And he's going to have a, a very much improved revamped O-line blocking for him. He's going to have wide receivers that, again, if you're a wide receiver playing for Coach Crystal Ball, you're going to know how to block or else you're not hitting the field. So wide receivers are going to block for him. Tight ends are going to block for him. You know, he's going to – like this Shannon Dawson offense is going to know how to use him. So I, I'm very excited at the prospect of what he can do just in year one alone. The future, forget it. I think this this young man's a potential first round pick. Potential. I know it's a really early to say that, but that's the kind of talent we got here. And then, of course, you got uh, Tim Harris Jr. coaching him at the running back position, who's had a ton of success coaching running backs at the college level. So, lots of reasons to be excited here. Ceiling for him, first year. He's, um, you know, not a starter, but splitting snaps. Uh, splitting starting snaps, I would say. It's going to be like thunder and lightning between him and Henry Parrish or thunder and lightning between him and Don Chaney. That, that's going to be a, a hell of a combo. That that would be his ceiling to me for year one as a freshman. His floor is not much lower than that, honestly. I, I He'll be maybe third on the depth chart. I know that's saying a lot. We're still not sure with Trevante Citizen what we're going to get from him. And Don Chaney, you know, he's been injured most of his career. So I am kind of taking that into account. I'm thinking third or fourth in the depth chart, but he's definitely going to play. That's the floor for him. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for me. That's my player profile for 2023 on Mark Fletcher. Really, really excited about him. And I'm still, I'm still kind of in a little bit of disbelief that we were able to steal him away. Because like I said, he was my favorite running back in the entire class. But anyways, have a great night, guys.
It's all about that you. Go Canes.